Hi everyone, Sherry here from Orchard Corset and welcome to our Corset 101 series live here from the Corset Cottage at OC Headquarters. This video I'm going to talk about seasoning your corset. Now we did one already a long time ago but I thought it was time to sort of update that video for all of um, our fans out there. So right now I am wearing what many of you have probably seen if you follow us here on YouTube, my very favorite corset, my CS411 in red. I've had this corset a long time, I've worn it through many occasions. So it is well seasoned, I can cinch it nice and tight it's comfortable i could even tighten it more if i really needed to but i'm not so much into that super tight lacing so this is what a well seasoned corset looks like i feel free to wrench on it it's not going to um, harm that corset in any way for me to tighten it up more than it is even right now as opposed to this brand new cs411 red satin corset that has never been on anybody before right here next to me Remember, when you take off your corset, to you loosen your laces all the way. Now I have really short laces in this corset, so I can only just get it loose enough to unhook it without warping that busk. So here I have a brand spanking new CS411 um, in red satin. So when you get your corset, of course, it'll be all wrapped up in our beautiful tissue paper. Once again, make sure that before you put it on the first time that you open it up all the way. You don't want any torque here when you're trying to fasten your corset at the busk. Um, with OC corsets, make sure my modesty panel is flat, your loops are always going to be on your right and the pins on your left. So 411 is a little bit easier to pop in, but a new corset still takes more work than one that you have seasoned. A seasoned corset, literally those all just will pop right in at the same time. So before I'm going to tighten it, I'm going to make sure that the waist tape on this corset, which is sandwiched between the two layers, you can't really see it unless you look, is at where my natural waist is. All right, I've got my modesty panel straight, and because I'm seasoning this corset and it's the first time it's been on, I'm going to tighten it, but I'm not going to tighten it a lot. You know, you just want your corset to be snug the first many times you wear it, not actually tight. I'm working my loops. We have videos on how to lace yourself in a corset, so if you can't see what I'm doing, that's okay. You can click to that other video and watch how we do that. All right. So that's feeling probably about as tight as I would want a corset that's never been broken in before. Um, I'll turn around and let you see what that looks like. You can see that the modesty panel for me is covered, but just. So that's how I know that this is the right size corset for me. Um, if I was able to close this up all the way or pretty close even, or even have it look like my season course it did with the first time I'm putting it on with all this gapping it would be too big for me so you can see here it's not lying flat against my body especially here at the top we get a lot of customers that complain about they have this gap well that's because this hasn't had time to shape to my body yet and I can't really cinch it up to even force it to do that until the corset has time to, to break in or to season the other benefit of seasoning a corset is if your brand, if you've never worn a corset before, you also sort of need to season your body, not just season the corset. It's going to take your body time to get used to that compression, so you want to break it in slowly. Also, the, you know, all the threads and the fabric in the corset need time to actually work into that, into that tight stretch so that nothing, you don't pop something or break something, or warp your boning and have a boning pop out the back. So really, for a satin corset, it's not quite as long, but you know, really at least a week you're going to want. For some of our pinstripe, the polyester corsets and the cotton, those can take up to two weeks of daily wear, two to four hours a day, before your corset is fully seasoned. So the first time you put your corset on, this is as about as tight as you want it. You just want it to feel a little bit snug. Uh, feel free to go ahead and like, tighten it a little bit more after about a half an hour, and then go ahead and finish wearing that corset for up to two hours um, on your first wear. And even on your second wear and third wear, probably two hours is about as long as you want to go. After that, you can add an hour here and add an hour there. Um, but you really want to wait a good solid week of every day seasoning your corset before you try wearing your corset for a full day. We also get people that ask us all the time, well, can I wear it for two hours and then not wear it for four or five hours and wear it again for two more hours in the same day? You certainly can. Give the corset a break, give your body a break, and then try it again. And each time that you go to season it, you can a little bit more, add a little bit more tightness to it. Um, but just remember to take your time. Your corset will last longer and it will fit you better if you season your corset properly. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you back here at YouTube. And until then, make sure you check us out at www.orchardcorset.com.